So today, we're going to walk you through the remote racking for a Westinghouse DS breaker. Um, this is what we call a Nomad application from Remote Solutions. And as you can see here, the sticker on this bracket shows a tool code color of Peacock. So every breaker application has its own tool code color. Obviously this breaker is not in a cubicle, but if it was in a cubicle that had a door, this sticker would go on the door to identify which remote racking tools are used. This bracket is called a Nomad because there's no modifications to the cubicle that has to be done. With this bracket, you simply remove the tool adapter, open the racking port door here, and insert the dry bracket. You then take your universal motor here that has a 20 volt battery that comes with the kit. And because this motor is universal for everything that we do from 480 volt switch operators to MCC buckets all the way up to 38 kV breakers, the tool adapter part is specific to the breaker. So it has a quick disconnect. Insert your tool adapter, make sure it's locked into place. Pick up your lock pin on your bracket here. If you pick it up and turn it, it stays out of the way. And then you insert your tool adapter until it engages and slide the bracket back to meet that and then drop your lock pin into place. So, drops right down. The next part, there's a cable from your drive bracket. There's an actual smart card inside your drive bracket that has all of the settings, the turn count, the torque, speed settings. These connectors are male and female, simple push-pull connectors. Plugs in like that. The other connector, same thing. Pushes and plugs in, and you're connected. This breaker is in the <clears throat> disconnect position, so we're going to rack it from disconnect into connect. So we power it up, and as you can see, we go through some screens, and then it shows you Westinghouse Cutler Hammer Peacock. So just by plugging everything in, it automatically loads all the parameters and settings off of the smart card that are on the bracket. So your operators or electricians don't have to go through and select the breaker type or the model number or adjust torque or current settings or anything else. You just plug everything in and it automatically loads it up. So on your pre-racking checklist, we have a please verify the battery displays four bars. So there's a little battery display button on here. So you want to start with a charged battery. Go to your next screen. Please verify bracket is fully seated on racking shaft. So again, when we put this motor in, you want to make sure you're fully engaged on the racking shaft. Please verify you're at a safe distance from the equipment. This cable that goes to your handheld is 50 feet. So if you stretch this cable out, you know you're 50 feet. Now, <clears throat> select connect to disconnect or disconnect to connect. So as you can see, we can toggle between the two locations. So right now, we're in disconnect and we want to go to connect. So I'm going to hit the red enter button. We're going to do what we call a tool engage. So it's actually going to back up because we're in disconnect right now. It's going to back up all the way out to withdrawal and feel that hard stop and withdrawal. Once it feels that hard stop and withdrawal, then you'll see the screen will change and then it'll start racking it in to connect. So there, it felt the hard stop out in withdrawal. And now we're going in to the connect position. So as you can see on the screen, we start what we call a soft start. So it does three turns in and then it ramps up on speed and does the main portion of the racking. So you can see we have a real uh, expected turn count and a real time turn count as it's moving.
And you'll see now, we're gonna, because we monitored our turn counts, we know we're coming to the end of racking. So instead of just slamming into the hard stops, we're gonna slow down and you can see on the screen, we're looking for a hard stop and connect. It's turning nice and slow, feels the hard stop and then does a quick back off to simulate what an operator would do. And then to, tells you the operation is complete, the breakers in connect, please power down. At that point, you would just power down your handheld and you would disconnect your remote racking. To remove everything, simply unplug your cords and slide this out. And if you're racking multiple breakers, you can leave this connected and insert it. Or if you're putting it back in the cases, you simply lift your lock pin and separate your drive bracket from your motor and remove your tool adapter. Your tool adapter also gets stored on the side of the bracket to keep it from getting lost. 